Reynolds maneuver, this is a technique, all right, in order to determine, number one, the fetal presentation, number two, the fetal uh, lie, number three, the fetal position, number four, the fetal attitude, okay? <laughs> So what is the goal or the purpose for Leopold's maneuver? The purpose for Leopold's maneuver can be categorized or linked according to the four maneuvers. Okay, On the first maneuver, one of the goal is to determine the gestational age by palpating where is the pundus at which level is second objective is to determine what body parts of the fetus is in the is in the fundus. Buttocks of head. Is it buttocks or the head of the lady? Second maneuver is determine where is the fetal back. Lateral or? Is it on the left side of the mother or on the right side of the mother? The second goal for the second maneuver is to know uh, the, the anterior part of the, of the fetus that face the abdomen of the mother. Is it the extremity of the baby? that faces the anterior part of the abdomen? Is it the back of the baby? Busted. Okay, so that's the second goal. Third maneuver will confirm fetal presentations, huh? and it will confirm whether the presenting part is engaged or not engaged. Okay? Next, the fourth maneuver is of course, it also confirms uh, presentation. Presentation. What else? Whether it is engaged or not engaged, it confirms third maneuver, sa the level of engagement. And what else? It gives you information whether the baby is flexion or extension, having a good attitude. Gather the equipment. What are the equipments that we need? Of course, we need some roll of towels. Okay? Have the roll of towels ready. The drape is here already. Okay? The tape measure. Okay? Do I need gloves for this procedure? No. No need for the gloves. Right? Okay. Next, number two. You need to wash your hands with warm one. You need to warm the hands so that the muscle will not contract. If the muscles are contracted, it is much difficult to feel the baby. Why? Because the muscles are tensed. Next, number three, prepare. Okay, prepare the woman. How do you prepare the woman? Number one, there are three, three preparations. Number one, empty the bladder. Preparation is to position the woman, all right, lying on her back. Slightly flex the knees. Mrs. Adams, we have to flex your knees slightly. Like recumbent position. Why do we need to flex the Dorsal recumbent position. Why do we need to flex the knees? The correct answer is to relax the abdominal muscles. Okay? Next, what you're going to do is to uh, provide privacy by closing the curtains and providing drapes on the woman, okay? And then you now need to expose the abdomen. abdomen. Okay, Mrs. Adams, I'm going to expose your abdomen for me to proceed with the procedure, okay? As you expose the abdomen, all right? Right away, you can proceed with inspection, okay? You can inspect for the yeah. fetal lie. What is the fetal uh, fetal lie? There are three lies. Longitudinal, longitudinal, longitudinal oblique, or, tr or transverse. If the contour of the uterus proceeds or projects from the symphysis pubis up to the direction of the siphoid process, what do you call this lie? Longitudinal, longitudinal lie. Okay, so just by inspection, you can already determine. Next, if the long axis proceeds from left to right, transverse. it's a transverse line. The halfway direction might be oblique. oblique line. Okay, 
So that is by inspection. And then you get the tape measure. And, okay. The zero, put the zero over the level of the synthesis pubis. Okay. Palpate the synthesis pubis right here. Synthesis pubis is the hard structure created by the created by the pubic bones. All right. From the synthesis pubis, put the zero and extend it midline going up, up to where the fundus is. So from here, I am palpating. Where is the fundus? Okay. About 40 centimeter. Okay. It means to say 40 weeks of pregnancy plus or minus two. Already in place right here are the roll of towels right here or right side of the mother. Why? In order to prevent compression of the vena cava. Okay. And then you pro proceed on this side of the mother and do the first maneuver. First maneuver, you face the woman's face the woman, okay, to the direction of his of her head, okay. Put your hands, okay, over the fundus, okay. The other term for first maneuver is fundal grip. Fundal grip means to touch the fundus. Touching the fundus right here in this position, all right, you're going to palpate which part is taking, is uh, taking the space, occupying the fundal area of the uterus, okay. Two possibilities. If you palpate in the first maneuver, soft and irregular part of the fetus, that is the buttocks. You can further confirm by trying to move it. And when you try to move it, it moves with the rest of the body. That is truly buttocks. Okay? But if you palpate here, smooth, hard, round. Head. And when you try to move it, when it moves, it moves independently from the rest of the body. That is the head part of the baby or the fetus. Okay? If the buttocks is here... The head surely is in the presenting position. The baby is having vertex presentation. Okay? But if, if the buttocks is here, the presentation is vertex. If the head is palpated here, it is a bridge presentation or buttocks presentation. Acceptable. But there are different types of bridge presentation, not only buttocks. Second maneuver is the umbilical grip. Okay? Umbilical grip. On the umbilicus, okay? Put your hands on either sides of the umbilicus. Okay. One hand is resting, the other hand is doing the palpation. Okay? You are trying again to see where is the fetal back. In the fetal back, it is fetal back when you feel that it is smooth, convex surface. That is the fetal back. And then confirm with the other hand, palpate. If you palpate, irregular nodulation, angular nodulation, some irregular shape, if you touch your knuckles like this, touch your knuckles. Uh, if you feel something like this uh -huh. on the other side, that is the extremities of the Okay. Next, the third maneuver is Attitude. make a C-shape, right? Engagement. To determine the degree of engagement, put your C-shaped hand over the symphysis, symphysis pubis and try to grasp, okay? This will tell you whether the presenting part really is head or buttocks. The same thing you will feel. If it is hard, smooth, round, that is the head. If it is soft and irregular, that is the buttocks, okay? And when you try to pinch it, okay, and you try to lift it, if it, it can be lifted and it can be moved, not yet engaged, okay? But if the baby is fully engaged already, we you can't. cannot move it at all. Proceed with the fourth maneuver. This is the only maneuver you will face the foot part of the mother, okay? And using your three fingers, one, two, three. 
on the lower uterine segment on the sides here okay in the 2 cm from the inguinal lig ligament this is inguinal ligament okay 2 cm above this try to insert your fingers okay and try to palpate okay when you palpate right here if you can still insert your fingers down here it means to say not engage be it okay next thing try to palpate here okay on the second maneuver oh i i palpate the back is right here what side of the mother left left side of the mother i palpated the fetal back on the left side of the mother then on the fourth maneuver when i palpate from here oh here there is a hard structure here shuf hard structure here opposite the fetal back you see what i mean what is the fetal attitude Flexion, flexion. Complete flexion. flexion. Okay. Because that part that you are touching here Extremity. is the okay, the chin. Alright? But if it's the other way around, when you palpate on the fourth maneuver, oh, there's a hard structure here. Shabab. Same side as the fetal back. Extension. Oh. Occiput. So it is complete, complete extension. extension. You now know where to place the Doppler ultrasound or weather stethoscope. Okay, if it is right occipital anterior, you put it on the right lower quadrant. If it is on the left occipital anterior, you put the Doppler on the left lower, left quadrant. lower quadrant and identify fetal heart rate. Okay, next after that is record any deviation, record the findings in that is your new pulse maneuver.